everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and we are on to day 11 of our advent box, winter advent box, whatever, however you want to call it, from, Ab from Abigail over at Sports Designs by Abigail Marie, and this has been so much fun. We have two more days to go, day 11 and day 12, and I can't wait to see what's in the last two days. It is going to be so much fun. Super, super exciting. This has been a blast and I'm definitely doing this again. If she does these again, I'm doing this again. So she is offering the subscription uh, box uh, every other month. And I'm like, you know what? If I wasn't going on this uh, no buy that I'm on, I would be 100% jumping aboard because this has been like so much fun. And this canvas is so cute. So I think when I go off of my no buy, I may start into uh, doing the advent, or not the advent, but I may start into doing it when I'm no longer um, doing my no buy for canvases. And since her box is do include a diamond painting, I'll be like, no, I have to restrain myself and can't do it because I'm on a no buy. So let's see what is in day 11. Ooh. All right. 11. Ooh, super cute. DIY snow globe kit. This kit comes with everything you need to make your own snow globe. It includes glue, globe, snowman, flamingo, trees, pine cones, faux snow, and string light. Do not add water. I can't wait to see your creations. This is going to be so fun. Artses and craftses. I like this. Ooh, so you have some glue. We have our snow globe. We have some string lights. We have some faux snow. That is cute. We have, oh, there is my secret message, my code. Um, for all products on site except future advents and sports description boxes. So that is my secret message. I have to save this. I'm putting it over here and I am saving that. You guys do not need to see what my code is. Just know you get a discount code. Oh, we look at our pine cone, our pine trees. This is our pine cones for trees. And oh my goodness, look at these. So our little snowman friend and our pink flamingo. This is like the cutest idea ever. I am super excited for it. I am like, what? This is so fun. I can't wait to see what day 12 is because I never would have thought of all of this. Oh, the snow pine cones and we get a couple of trees. That is adorable. And now I'm going to be like, what do, how do I make it? So you guys are going to have to help me figure out what are we going to do? How are we going to make this? So what are we going to make for our snow globe? So we're going to have to plot it out and see what do we want to do for our snow globe? All right. Do I want to kind of get an idea of what we're going to do? And then once we plot out our idea, we can figure it out and then do it. Let's see. We need to do, kind of want to do like something like that. I'm thinking like one on top of the other for, well, that one's a big one. And a little one. I'm thinking kind of something staggered stance. So maybe glue these two pine trees together. I may bring you guys down a little bit. Ah, I may bring you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Well, I think I got carried away bringing you down. But So this way you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. I don't know that I'm going to do all of it. Well, I may do some of it now, but I, may do, I, will, I will give you guys all of it and then some of it a little bit later. But I'm going to definitely, I think, no, I like it better with the small one on the bottom. But I think I want to glue these two trees together. That's going to be part of it, gluing those two trees together. We just have to make sure we do it in a way where we can still screw the lid on. That's going to be part of it. So that's going to be part 
however we do it, we're gonna kind of give a rough idea. And then where are we gonna do our pine tree, our pine cone? We'll do some snow and then our pink flamingo. What do we wanna do? I may only do one pine cone. Because otherwise I feel like it's gonna to be too much if we do all of the pine coneage because that's gonna be a lot to put in there to do all of it. Because if we look at it like that, that's gonna be a lot to fit in there if you see all of that. But I'm gonna sprinkle some stuff on there. But I may build up the base a little bit. I think that's what I'll have to do. I may build up the base so that way he's sitting. I kinda of wanna build up the base I may do that so that way I can have everything kind of sitting in the globe from like this height. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to build up the base and have it be start from that height. So I think that's what we're going to do. We just have to figure out what I'm going to do to build that base up. So our starting point. Sushi, we do not need to jump up there. No. I need to bulk this up because I want to start the base of my globe right here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start the base of my globe right there. I just need to do that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle snow on my characters, except for my flamingo and my this thing. Cause then if the base starts there, then we can kind of have like our space. Cause then everything can kind of like, we can glue it like with these kind of overlapping a little bit into uh, that space like that. Cause I could totally glue that one into here if I wanted to. Could totally do that. What are you doing, Sush? So anyways, I, think I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do to bulk this up higher. That's gonna be our main thing. My solution or my, my dilemma. I will get back with you guys once I figure out how the dilemma is going to be answered. Right. So, I have cut some little cardboard discs to put inside here. Now, we need to glue them in place. That's gonna be our first step. Gluing them in place. Let us do that. Never worked with, is this just basically super glue? Is that all this is? Let me read the directions. What does it say? Product description. One component transparent. It's gonna be one of these suckers. Let's see, what does it say? Well, being used, blah, 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 blah. No, blah, blah. Room temperature curing high elastic side is waterproof, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say. All right, so we are just gonna go for it. I'm all about the go for it. But we are going to do the okay that one does have it that we're gonna put the lid on the lid the lid on the lid we're putting the lid on the lid we just put the lid on the lid this would be one of those things my mom would laugh at me about we're gonna connect our towers together we're gonna operate on a less is more and we're doing a silicone mat Ooh, i love how they're uh Ooh, that is some strong glue. And this is why we're doing it on here. That is some strong glue. That's aroma de glue. Wow, strong glue, friends, strong glue. I think that's just gonna be the limiting factor is going to be the glue drying and how long the glue will take to dry. I need like a clamp to clamp it shut. We're just going to glue these layers of cardboard together to make a little tower of cardboard for our base. That is my vision. Okay. I'm used to super glue that takes like no time to dry. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're going to do a little bit of a super glue, whatever this stuff is. Let me stop squeezing it. So there's our base. 
and we need it to be make sure sushi oh good grief Now I have to pick up all the things that you knocked over because you are a brat. You total brat of a kitten. Total brat. Total brat. No, don't even look at me like that. She's like, but I didn't want... She's like, of course I meant it, but you're not supposed to yell at me about it. Brat thing. Brat thing. Total brat thing. This is the thing. I'm like, I'm not used to glue that takes so long to cure. That's my thing. That's gonna be our limiting factor. Okay, so we've got our pieces parts. It's gonna bother me that I didn't line those up. Okay, we're just gonna have to let that sit. And we're going to make sure we get that centered right there. All right, we're gonna let that sit and dry. That's gonna be step one. That has to sit and dry. Once that is fully dried and cured, I don't think I'm gonna use the pine cones because I think that would be a little bit too much because I wanna focus on my, those guys. And my faux snow, faux show, faux show. We got some snow, faux snow. Uh, I do want to stack my, let's see, we wanted to, okay, we wanted to do it like, I think we decided this. It's been a couple days since I did this, so I think I want to glue those together. Okay, you little kitten need to go away, but that's going to mostly sit together. I just need to give it a little extra oomph. We're going to move these out of the way because kitten is going to get into everything, and I need my no, so you can't be over here. That glue is not for kitten. Get out of the way. All right, we're gonna do a little, 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 little bit of glue right here. There. And. just gonna hold this in place and we're gonna let that work its way work its magic can you guys even see what we are doing or should I bring you guys down a little bit more uh, no get sushi no brat get off of all the things you are such a stinker we're gonna come in a little bit go take you guys for a ride Get my arm. I want to bring you down so you can actually see what I'm doing. Apologize for anybody that gets the seasickness or motion sickness, whatever you want to call it. No, 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 chaos. You really should be on the floor right now. I don't want you up here next to this glue. Get down there. Oh my goodness, you are a fat kitten. Fat, fat kitten. All right, that has started to set up, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, the tricky part is going to be doing what I want with these. No, we, we want kitten on the floor. And how far over then do we want this to go? Because can we do it like that? Curious or incurious. Okay, so I could go... A little further over, okay. I could do basically a little bit further over. I could do like right about there, I think. So I think we're gonna do a little double because we've used a fair amount of glue, but I'm trying to like minimize my wastage of glue doesn't matter where that goes because I want to put some glue down on the bottom that I can pour some snow into. 
I think I was just being stingy on the glue and that was the issue. I was being stingy. Oh, I'm putting the lid on, putting the lid on. And we're gonna sprinkle some snow on here. I'll pick all the excess snow off, but I wanted to sprinkle that snow on there. Because that wants to be down onto there. All right, so the trick. I just was not letting this sucker dry long enough and that's really what it was. I was way too impatient. So it's been sitting for a while and I think we are successfully dried. I did throw in some super glue because I wasn't sure and I was being impatient and not waiting for this to dry. But this guy is secure and this one was dried with the E7000. Still not fully dry so we're not going to like do too much finagling. I just want to stick this sucker in here. See if I can get this in. Oh darn it. I should, probably should have tried to. Alright. See if I can get around. Ah. Okay. Come on. Come on. You can do this. There. Alright. Success. And from there I just need to be able to screw the lid on. And we will call it close enough. All right. There we go. There we go. Success. Okay. I'm going to try to lay down so that way we don't have as much of a glare from these things. I'm Doop, 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 doop. No, that's not going to work. We're just going to have the glare. It's going to be what it is. And now let's look because I wanted the snow because now we have the snow to hide the ground. But I want some snow in my trees. There. Didn't really work. But now look, we got some lights. <laughs> Mochi's yelling at me because she's not in here. And ta-da, I will take some photos of it from, from the side. But I like it. It is adorable and it looks really cute from the side. So I'll take some photos from the side. It just took a lot longer for the glue to dry than I was expecting. But I've also never worked with one of a glue like this before. But it turned out it's super cute. And I'm going to take some photos of it and post them up here. So that way you can see it from the side view, which is super cute. Uh, and I decided I just wanted to go simple. A couple of palm of uh, the pine. I almost said palm trees. Uh, a couple pine trees. And the... Um, flamenco and the um, snowman. I was like, what is he called? Snowman. And that's all I went with were those guys. And it's super adorable. So I love it. He's going to sit on my desk and be, well, I'll put him on my, uh, I'll put him on a shelf actually. He's going to sit on the shelf and be super cute and adorable. And then I can turn him on and off as desired. I like this so blinky blinky. All right. I'm going to take a photo of him and post it up. Mm -hmm.